In opposition to MSD's proposed big rate hike designed to raise billions of dollars. Some groups say it's going to put a big burden on poor and working class families, and the increase is just too much. Elliot Davis talks to some of those groups standing against the plan in tonight's You Paid For It. MSD is under a federal mandate to make some $7.2 billion in improvements over 28 years for cleaner water. Right now, the question is how to do it. MSD staff came up with a new rate increase that would start in 2025. It would raise rates 32.3 percent over four years, but a minority report from its own rate commission suggested lowering that to 24.18 percent. One of the groups pushing the lower plan is the Consumer Council of Missouri. Its executive director says the higher proposal would be a big disservice to the poor. And I think that a lot of people are struggling. Ameren, Spire, Missouri American Water, and the St. Louis City water rates have gone up over the past year. And this is just going to add another burden to people who are really struggling to pay their utility rates. Some neighborhood groups don't like this deal either. I don't see them doing anything that is would show a sensitivity to our community except when it comes to the bottom line. So I just have a problem with that. We very seldom see a uh, metropolitan sewer district in our neighborhoods. You know, to them, we're just a number, but we're in North St. Louis and we're trying to survive any way we can. According to MSD, the proposal favored by the MSD staff and the independent MSD rate commission would raise the average bill from $61.04 a month in 2025 to $75.23 in 2028. The plan favored by the Consumer Council of Missouri and the minority members of the MSD rate commission and others would go up to $70.69 over four years. MSD president and CEO Brian Holscher says while that plan will see lower rates over the short run and the long run, residents would end up paying a lot more. We talked to some groups that say what MSD is asking for in terms of a rate hike is too much. How do you answer? I answer that we put a proposal together keeping in mind affordability for our customers and doing as cost effectively as we can. I think MSD's proposal that the rate commission considered takes a look not just at the near term rates, but what's going to happen in the long term. We've got 15 or 16 more years of consent decree plus regulatory requirements after that. We have to think about the long term. I think that it's higher than it needs to be. I think that there's some room to lower the rate proposal. An additional burden embarks upon our survival. Senior citizens on uh, Social Security and some don't have pensions, so we just look at this as being offensive to us. MSD will make its final decision on November 9th. The measure will go to voters in April of 2024 to raise the billions necessary to meet the federal commitments for clean water. Of course, I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you pay for it.